What up, it's your buddy Mark, um, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Happy Sunday. Um, anyone? I'm sure a lot of y'all are going through football withdrawals. I know I am. It was like, I still had to put the Patriot shirt on because it's Sunday, habit. And um, so, um, uh, so, yesterday I said I was going to do some first, my first, like, um, bringing rock to the channel, Guns N' Roses. I'm gonna do that, but for, um, first I wanna do this quick little interview because it just happened yesterday. 50 Cent on The Breakfast Club. They talk a little bit about the Nick Cannon, Eminem situation. And of course, Charlemagne, he just like likes anyone that doesn't like Eminem. It's like, don't even matter. I remember him saying like, I don't know, Nick Cannon made like, he made like three diss songs, but even, like, I don't know if it was after the first one or second one, but he was like, oh, Nick Cannon just killing Eminem. And I feel like he won that battle. It's like, Eminem didn't even respond. At that time, we were saying, yeah, because we thought maybe he would. Then he did a little on Murder to Music by it. But let's, we'll talk about that. Right. Let's get to this. <laughs> I gave you something else that you might want to be. That you might want to ask about. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Did you, did you call Eminem and tell Eminem don't go back in the cannon? Did y'all have a conversation? I did, I did. What was that conversation like? I was like, yo, ain't nothing there. Like, you mm. know, because Eminem, it'll get hype. I like that because he cleared it up. We didn't know if that was a rumor or not. That 50 told them, don't respond. But we didn't know if that was a rumor or not. So um, it's nice to get confirmation on stuff that we don't know are hearsay or you know so but like 50 said there's nothing there to respond to <laughs> you know especially that third song when he brought us the foolish pride song it's like benzino did that 15 years ago and back then it was a shock but why why are you doing it again it's like and he made it like he was bringing us something new <laughs> anyway i was back what? like you said something like, like you challenging him in that way because he comes from that format the battle format like it, they actually put him in a space where he's the most comfortable when they attack him you know what i'm saying because that's the when they stand in front of you and 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 well you're the, the focus and topic so they find things about you and do things right creative things and put it together like that's where he's comfortable mm -hmm. he's giving me about six bars yeah he's a good go <laughs> charlamagne you know trying to stick up for nick I feel just because he hates Eminem, so he goes against Eminem, Charlemagne's gonna be in the side. So he gave us like six bars, I like what he said, yeah, like six years ago. <laughs> so I like it. He, he tries a lot, and he tries to not drop the subject of Nick, but I thought you were stupid. Stuff. used to look up to you, and he said that was about you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't I know if you want that. I don't I know if you never, want that problem rapping with Nick Cannon. Fit. I would never respond to Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> never. And 50 said, I, he said, I've never responded to Nick Cannon. Um, but that song, I used to look up to you. Everyone labeled that. All the YouTubers, and I, I thought so too when it first came out, labeled it Eminem Diss. Um, so I, I might revisit that song and listen to it again since he's saying it's about 50 cent <laughs> now look, 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 yeah, the, the camera's on right he's yeah. a legendary corny <laughs> he's been corny forever like forever <laughs> like from the very beginning i thought at one point he was headed somewhere that was like in the will smith will smith fish i don't like will smith corny stuff, i, like I grew up on fresh prince it just just never got to its destination. Like, it just never got cool. Like, would you he's cast a good businessman. Would you cast him in a power book? Charlamagne still trying to stick Anyone up for that. If he did a good job, like, he did okay. great in Drumline. Drumline was dope. Mm -hmm. He did good. Now, there's my Charlamagne. <laughs> As a drummer. <laughs> okay. See, the thing with Nick, that Nick is a great businessman. <laughs> he, he just... The only thing that makes him look cool. Charlamagne just won't <laughs> keep sticking up for him. It's like, 50's already like, all right, let's, let's move on. Charlamagne... Already, like, two or three times in less than a minute, just keeps trying to stick up for Nick and just keep it to talk going. Yeah, I don't know why he's so passionate about it. Like, like he's, <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> bro, look, you suck, bro. <laughs> you suck, bro. I'm going to just tell you the truth. Like, there's never a moment where you said something and we was like, ooh, bars. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever spoken, Nick? 
I mean, I know you spoke to him in here, yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about since all of this stuff mm-hmm. been going on. Like, I, I, look, I look at it like he's trying to build energy for a show. Yeah, the talk show and the radio show stuff. Right, cause he That's made- exactly what he was trying to do. The first in, the first diss track is called Invitation. He wanted Eminem, and Eminem to go on Wild and Out so bad because it would boost his ratings. But I don't think dissing someone is the way to get them on the show. Especially if you piss them off. You think they're going to come on and be civil? <clears throat> Sorry, I got to clear my throat a little. He had to come on Wild and Out. Right, and and then, that was a perfect Then he tried to get him 50 Cent to go on Wild and Out. Like, I wouldn't like, just punch him in the face. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I know what that is. I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. We all know what you're trying to do, Nick. Can, can 50 Cent stir up, do something without stirring up waters to catch fish? Do you have to always stir up water? No, again? no. Look, when I said look at Taraji, I told Taraji I want to work with her when yeah. you see the numbers come back. Mm-hmm. Because I never had, every time when I spoke to you, okay. I said, that, That's it for um, the Eminem, Nick Cannon talk, um, Charlemagne, uh, the God, I think they call him. Who gives these why would you name yourself that? Um, <laughs> and then, I don't want to talk about Lord Jamar, but he had to give himself that name before his first song or album, not his album, Brand New Bean album ever came out. And you're going to name yourself Lord Jamar. That's what I like be calling myself Lord Mark. Like, what the hell gives me the right to call me Lord? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But I'm getting off topic. Um... That was just a quick little video. I did it because it just happened. He was just on the Breakfast Club yesterday. So, um, uh, you know, trying to keep... I'm doing current and then old old school hip-hop and then Eminem. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little video. Hope your football draws aren't too, too bad. Uh, Maybe some of you out there, that shitty team aren't. Well, the Patriots had a tough season, but I'm not going to lie. But also, I played fantasy football, so I'm having fantasy withdrawals, too. All right, I'm getting off topic again. I'll I'll talk to you all soon. I'll I'll be right back.